my friends. Welcome to Power Zone. I'm Miss Jen, and I am missing you all like crazy. I am missing New Life. I am missing Power Zone. I miss seeing your faces every single Sunday morning. And I know your teachers have been missing you too. And I have a special someone who wants to stop by and say hi. Hi, it's Teacher Jackie. I want to say hi to all my friends, my Power Zone friends in preschool and in kindergarten. I miss you so much. I'm making a pretend temple with those banda blocks you like so much. Do you remember what a temple is? A temple is like a church. And I was thinking about the story of, from the Bible when Jesus was only 12 years old, and one day his parents, Mary and Joseph, couldn't find him anywhere. They looked and looked. Where was he? Where did they find him? He was in the temple, wasn't he? He loved to talk to the teachers there about God and learn more about God. I do too. I love to go to church and learn more about God. And I know you do too. And I can't wait till we're all back together and we can meet in our power zone room and we can learn more about God and how much he loves us. So I'll see you soon when we're all back together at church and we can learn more about God. Bye bye. See you then. Thank you, Miss Jackie, for stopping by Powers on Live to say hi. We miss you so much. This week, we're going to be talking about encouragement and how God wants us to use every word that comes out of our mouth to be positive and uplifting to one another. But before we start the lesson, let's talk to God and ask Him to ready our hearts and to ready our minds. So please bow your head and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today and thank you for this time that we have to learn about you. Help us to be more Christ-like in our actions and with our words. Help us to uplift one another in a way that honors you, God. Give us strength to ask for forgiveness when we do wrong. We love you so much and we thank you. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. All right, let's check out the story. We set the navigation compass and monitored air flows. Check the fluid on the switches and... Now all I need to do is check these wires and I'm done for the day. Hey, Ray. Gotcha. <laughs> What's up, Clint? I just finished the last level of my video game. Care to play? <laughs> yes! I have to finish my work. Oh, you can take a break. It's just one level. I can't. Come on. Clint, I can't. Okay, suit yourself. It's really awesome and amazing. The best game ever made. It's got lots of yellow, which is your favorite color. You'd be the first one to play it. No, all right, all okay. right. <laughs> I'm in. I can finish this work later. All right, get ready to play the zany zone. Zone, 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 zone. <laughs> This is all you need. Okay. Oh, uh, when you get in the game, uh, you'll meet Nitro. Uh, pay attention, he gives you the instructions. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is when it gets really cool. Uh, so the game is made to really make you think, and it um, wouldn't be much of a game if it wasn't a challenge, right? So. Okay. Oh, and uh, every challenge is different. I think it's pretty difficult, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a challenge. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure you know what to do? Because I'll be monitoring for up in the hub, and but once you get in the game, I'd be really cool. Clint. Mm-hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 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 <laughs> it's a desert. This is so cool. <laughs> you even got my hair right! <laughs> oh, remember, this is where Nitro will appear, so make sure and- Clint! Let me play the game! Okay. Sorry. Clint can be so annoying sometimes. Oh. I just want to play the game. He needs to let me be. Hello, Ray. Welcome to the desert world of Zany Zone. There is a grand adventure that awaits. You must use your wits and be wise. 
Use your wits. <laughs> Who even says that? I am the wanderer. Be wise in your speech, for it will guide you in how you are to go. How may I assist you? How do I get past the wall? Why isn't the wanderer helping me? She said she would assist me. Hi, how are you? I'm a prize. And it gets a little boring up here on the shelf waiting for someone to pick me. So I thought I'd give you a phrase to help you remember what you learned today. Repeat after me. Our words should give encouragement and life. Not cause hurt, anger, or strife. Good. Remember, we want our words to be wise and to be led by God, not by the way we feel. That's why it's important that the words we speak are positive, not negative and hurtful. This week, watch the words you say. Ask God to help the words that come out of your mouth be positive and encouraging to those around you. Oh, I think someone is coming. Maybe they'll choose me. Gotta go. Wait, the bee gave me advice. Oh, what did she say? Our words should give encouragement in life, not cause hurt, anger, or strife. Oh, I see. I have to use kind words. Please, may I have assistance? You have used a kind word. Go back to the wall and you will find the help you need. Thank you. Ray forgot to finish her work. Oh well, guess she'll learn to be nicer. <laughs> Even though she was mean to me, I should still be nice. Hey, Ray. Uh, Clint. I'm in the middle of this level. I can't talk to you right now. Uh, but, uh, Ray. Clint, stop being annoying. Leave me alone. I'll talk to you later, okay? Fine. It's a scrambled word. How am I supposed to know what the word is? It could be anything. Interesting. What's up? Uh, Clint, I think the game's broken. Oh, you need me to fix it? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Gee, I guess I'm not so annoying now. Clint, I don't understand why you're mad. I heard what you said in the game. You transmitted it. Oh, that. Clint, I was just frustrated. Well, I'll leave, so I won't frustrate you anymore. I didn't mean to hurt Clint's feelings. I need to fix this. I know. I'll go to the room. Room, I made a bad mistake. What is the matter, Ray? I really hurt Clint's feelings. What did you do? I called him annoying. Words have power, Ray. They have the power to help others or to hurt others. I'm sorry I was mean. How can I fix it? The disciple Peter had a similar problem. He denied Jesus and hurt him with his words. And Jesus forgave him? Yes. I have a video that can tell the story. Okay, thank you, Room. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It
it's a lie of ties to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Oh, the story of how much he loves me. Let him blow up all the pages, let the show go live. Let his word explode from this video into your life. When Jesus' ministry began, he had 12 disciples, but one of the closest disciples to Jesus was named Peter. Peter was a fisherman, and Jesus called him to quit fishing and follow him. Peter had a huge heart and really wanted to do whatever Jesus wanted. Peter even took part in one of Jesus' greatest miracles when he walked on water. Peter was excited about being a part of the kingdom Jesus talked about, but then things took a bad turn. Jesus' ministry on earth was going to come to an end. The night Jesus was arrested, he told Peter that he was going to deny him three times before the rooster crowed the next morning. Peter told Jesus this would never happen, but of course, Jesus was right. While Jesus was on trial, the people recognized Peter as a follower of Jesus, and then everything Jesus said became true. Peter started to argue with them. He told them that he didn't know Jesus. I never met the guy. I told you I don't know him. Peter turned his back on his friend. When Peter heard the rooster, he realized what he had done and went away and hid. Sometime later after Jesus had died, Peter went back on his boat to fish. When Peter and Jesus came face to face again. You would think that Jesus would have been upset with Peter for turning his back on him. But that's not what happened. Jesus did not accuse. He didn't get mad. He just asked a question. Do you love me? Jesus asked this three times. Peter responded with a simple word, yes. After Jesus went back to heaven, Peter spoke before a crowd of 3,500 people. The man who denied Jesus in front of three preached about him to a crowd 1,000 times larger. And Jesus forgave Peter for what he said? Yes, and Peter was truly sorry for everything he said. I'm going to have to apologize to Clint. I could move to Canada, too cold. Peru, too hot. Guinea, I don't have any guineas. Maybe I'll move to the United States. Everyone lives there. Clint, um, I'm really sorry. It's, it's okay. The Flex Compactor is out of fluid! Oh, I forgot to finish my work! It's okay. I took care of it. But I was mean to you. Well, just because you didn't make a wise choice with your words didn't mean I couldn't make a wise choice and help you. <laughs> that was really nice of you, Clint. The station really needs you. And you're the opposite of annoying? Thank you. You know, I fixed the glitch. Want to give it another try? Can I? 
Thank you. Sorry, Botswana. You know, I've been working here a long time, and this is a first. But I can tell you what's not a first. People using their words to hurt other people. You work around here long enough, and you'd be amazed how people talk to one another. That's my ticket, jerk! I don't want to play with you. You're a loser. I don't care what you say, Mom. I'm playing this game now. Get the picture? The Bible says we need to have wisdom in everything we say. That means we need to say what God wants us to say and not listen to our emotions and how we feel. There's this book in the Bible called Proverbs. And there are all sorts of verses that tell us how to listen to God and obey Him. There's a great one about the power of our words. You gotta hear it. It's Proverbs 18, 21. Your tongue, you know, and point at your tongue. Your tongue has the power of life and death. You know, make muscles, point up at the sky and then down to death. Those who love to talk, yeah, 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 you know, make hands like you're talking, will eat the fruit of their words. Om, 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 om. Act like you're eating a bunch of grub. Now repeat after me. Proverbs 18, 21. Your tongue has the power of life and death. Those who love to talk, yeah, 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 will eat the fruit of their words. Um, 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 um. The things we say can either bring death or life to a person or a situation. That means the words we say can be positive and encouraging, or they can be negative and hurtful. Our words should always be led by God's wisdom and what He would want us to say. So the next time you want to say something negative, just stop. Keep silent. Instead, think of something positive or choose to say nothing at all. Ask God to help your words make things better and not worse. See you later. Man, this place is great. I think the word's gonna be a kind one. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm eating the fruits of my word. The Bible is full of wisdom, but there's one book in the Bible that tells us more about wisdom than any other book. It's the book of Proverbs. It was written by the wisest person who ever lived, King Solomon. All the wisdom Solomon had, God gave to him so he could write down advice on how to be wise. Read Proverbs and use God's wisdom in your life so you can show everyone who God is. I'm really gonna think about what the plumber said. I'm gonna focus on using kind words. Uh, Clint, that was incredible, amazing, magnificent. <laughs> you really made something incredible. Oh, thanks, Ray, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> Kids everywhere are gonna enjoy playing this game. Well, I think I can make it better then. Um, I could maybe add a, a, a dragon or a couple cowboys. Space cows for sure. Uh, cooking with nitro. Uh, tournament karaoke mode. Uh, dungeons of walruses. Uh, Clint. <laughs> Keep it the way it is. It's perfect. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wow, what an incredible reminder for each and every one of us that we need to remember to use our words for good and not for bad. Even with our family and our friends and even our brothers and sisters, we need to be kind and encouraging. Well, we are so glad you joined us for Power Zone Live, and we look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, 
Power Zone out. Bye guys. Miss you.